All right, guys, welcome back to another video. So we're gonna ice fish the tiny pond. We're going to. There's like almost a foot of ice on the lakes right now. So I'm hoping the tiny pond's safe, but it doesn't look safe. I'm sure the middle's safe, but there's open water right here. That's just the edge. We can also walk through the open water. We got muck boots on. Um, we'll try getting on over here. If I fall through, it'll be a good video. I should take the ice bud or the auger. Yeah, the ice pick. got sharp blades on it or it did oh, that's okay maybe take my phone out of my pocket too maybe Yeah, it's probably safe. Probably. <laughs> only it, it it only moves when you jump on it around the edges. I mean <laughs> the tiny pond has always been known not to freeze very good and it's like 50 degrees out right now so all right we're good let's fish let's fish probably won't take the shanty out here maybe because i kind of want to see if i see a catfish or something but uh maybe i don't know it's there's about two inches of solid ice and three of non-solid ice all right. Let's go get the stuff. This is, must be how people feel in Texas right now. Ice fishing in 50 degrees. It's awesome. I don't think it got that cold. What? I don't think it got that cold for their... No, they were. For that long. Yeah, it did. Really? Alex Perrick did a video for the Guggen Squad ice fishing. Over there is never safe. Don't go across there. And I've never caught anything over here either when it was safe. See? I'm trying to stay away from over here. So the auger blades are sharp, but they're also dull. Like they'd hurt if it hit you in the head, but they're so dull that it's so hard to drill a hole. And when you can drill a hole in two seconds with our auger, that means the ice isn't too safe. But we're gonna fish it anyways, cause why not? Ice is pretty thick, it's just not solid. Yeah, it's thick ice, it's just honeycomb. Yeah. Alright, we'll set up one tip up, cause I'm pretty sure that there's two pike in here. I'm pretty sure I've seen two pike. I'm pretty sure. But we'll set up. Yeah, we'll set up a tip up over there and we'll fish for panfish over here. So he just drilled the hole there, and then we'll fish for panfish in this hole. I hope I have wax from the bottom of the bucket. Cause I did not bring any bait. Which in this pond before, when we've ice fished it before, we've caught fish with um just hooks. Cause they're so aggressive or hungry. I don't know. Oh, there's wax worms down here. Perfect. That's a wax worm. Alright, let's go. Also, 
our scooper, ice scooper thing, ice breaker thing broke. So. So, it's a hard thing. It's not very really deep. No, it's not. I'm gonna catch one before you. You weren't even at a bite. Oh my gosh. We have tip up bait. Yeah, go put it, hook it up. Oh, oh, you know. Know. Yeah, it's it's a fun. yeah. As you guys just saw, Jacob just caught tip up bait. So we're gonna go set it in this hole he drilled over here. Because this over here is probably the deepest part of the pond. And I figure if there's a minnow or a bluegill like he caught just dangling there, then he will, the pike will see it. So, set this chip up up. I'm sure we're gonna catch a pike. All right, so how I set these up, this kind. Put this straight down, pull this down. I only pull it down like this because we're in a pond and there's not very deep, so just pull it down like this much. If the pike sees the fish and it wants it, it will come and get it. A lot of people think they need to put their tip ups down at the very bottom of the lake. And I never do that. I always, which I don't catch a lot of fish, so maybe I should put it down at the bottom. But if the pike wants the fish, it will come up to get it. When the pike takes the bait, this will spin and launch the flag up into the air like that. So, and the bluegill isn't strong enough to pull this to make it spin. If you just set that like that and then we wait for a flag. That's fine. Just put it back. Jake will cut another blue bill. We'll get over to him. That flag's gonna go up and I'll give it less than 10 minutes. All right, so Jacob's catching fish over here, so we'll just leave that alone. And I gotta tie my hook. So I'll give the GoPro to Jacob since he's catching them. See, we need to grow, take out some of the little ones and put them in another pond if that's legal. I don't know. Never mind, I'm not. All right, I want you in the shot though, so. Can we get the shanty? Mm -hmm. You want to be able to see the bottom? You want to be wet here when you sit on these. Alright, well, watch that. As soon as I leave, usually you catch fish, so. There's a bug. <laughs> He's just chilling on the ice. He's like, sun's out, gun's out. Bug on a lake, what will he do? <laughs> Use him as bait. Match the hatch. Have you caught anything yet? I, can, I think we need to go deeper. I'm gonna move back to the spot. You caught one a minute ago. See, look at this. There's a hole here. 
and a hole right over there where he is. And that's the difference that you can catch fish, where you will catch fish in the pond. Watch, drop this down. Alright. Hook him up, baby. Set that right off bottom. And I'll wait for this bobber to go down. Be sure about milk, because then I can try catching a bass in the pond. Jacob just caught another fish. I'll just give you the YouTube channel. Are you jigging it or are you just... I'm just freaking moving it everywhere. No. You're lying. No. I move it up and down like this. Oh my word, no way! <laughs> it worked, I was just going like this. Yeah, because they sit there and they're looking at it and they're like, what is it? And then you start moving it and then as soon as you stop moving it, they're like, it's a chance to get it. There's my first Strike. fish. Alright. Because they don't, they just sit there and like stare at it all. I'm not keeping fish today. So if you move it, they think, oh, I gotta wait for it to stop so I can just strike it. I spilled the reds over, there must be a hole in the cat. Another one. See, I can do this all day, just catch bluegills like this. Yeah. We need to put crappie in here. Alright guys, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you want to see us fish at the tiny pond again, we can. I know we didn't catch the pike today, but it happens sometimes. He could have eaten right before and he was sitting right there. But um, we'll probably do a part two. Let us know in the comments if you want a part two. But see ya!